Oh, beauties. Good afternoon. So this is the start of a new vlog. I'm super excited in this vlog that I can't wait. I can't wait to say the things that are in my mind. But trust me to say that. First of all, I'm at the salon. I want to braid my hair for the first time since this year. I hadn't braided my hair like official braiding, if not Conroe or this box braids. So I want to officially braid my hair. One thing I hate so much is braiding hair. I hate it so much, but I don't do wear wig. I'm like, let me braid. So I want to do the boho braids. I guess that's the name. I saw Vivian Godwin's own. As I just see her own, he enter my eye. <laughs> so how I wish I can also see where I can get a lash extension. But I'm not sure. Anyways, welcome back to this video. Sit back, relax, because we need to talk. Very important one. I'll see you guys shortly. Let's go and transform. Let's transform in three, two, one. beauties i'm back and that's the hair my before and after transformation hope is banked okay so this is it and then i made my nails i quickly changed my nails as well and then i painted my toe nail so that's that let me use my lip balm and quickly talk to you guys until i see you guys tomorrow so I told you guys I'll be discussing something and it's nothing but this land that I got. Are we going tomorrow to go and inspect the land? Because I did not successfully inspect it that day. That was the day, the day I went for the signing was the day I was coming back from Soka that I went to surprise my sister on her birthday. Surprised my sister on her birthday, so I quickly stopped at Enugu to sign and take all my documents. Then quickly wanted to go see the land, but it was raining so much, I had to pause. And uh, they just took me to the park where I took a bus and started coming back home that day. So I'm going officially tomorrow to go inspect the land. I want to start fencing it immediately, yes. So that from now henceforth, if I see chicken change, I go to throw and they put and there. You understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is my first time ever owning a land. First time ever I'm using my money to buy a land. Owning a land by my sweat. This is my first time. I had owned a car before, but that was before I went abroad. And all the years I spent abroad, I didn't purchase another car again. And I did not purchase and land the only thing i achieved from abroad was my father's home like my village i built and then i married mm -hmm. so everything became now family money in as much as i've owned the land that my husband got for me but i have never used my money to own a land and i want to quickly say something here for us the wives i just want to open our eyes I recently, I told my husband that I want to own a land that will bear my name, you know, and he did it. I'm so grateful. He beared my name, Gongom. Gom. And then when this money came into my hand, my niece was telling me about buying land. I wanted like, no, no, but all the land we have owned in this life is within this Anambra. We have never owned any land outside this Anambra. So I thought it wise to also own a land in my hometown. I'm from Inugu State, in case if you don't know. And I'm so grateful that I will say categorically that it was YouTube money. In as much as I started this, saving that money from, um, from 2019. 2019, I had not monetized yet, but I started saving the money. But I added more money for this land. The whole money I saved from the finance, I added extra money to it to purchase this land. And um, I will say that this is my YouTube sweat. Looking back anytime, I will say yes. From doing YouTube, I was able to do this for myself. I have seen YouTubers who had got car for themselves from their YouTube money. And I have always prayed that I use YouTube money to do something. 
And the very day Dain Ekwemi bought her car from YouTube Money was the very day I started saving money, saving YouTube Money. So every month when I pay the finance, I will still save some amount of money, you know. And I will say that it paid, it paid off, it paid off. That's not what I want to say. I'm just, I just want to tell you guys, uh, throw back. And I will say it paid off. My dad always said this, that if you do something, always make, make sure you create an impact with that thing you have done. Let's say, for example, you sold the land into that land, do something again with it. Or when you were uh, doing importation, you will say, during the time I was doing importation, I was able to do this. Like the stories he usually say is, uh, during the time I gave birth to you, I bought this Suzuki. During the time I went to Nara, on a transfer i was able to save the money and i built this upstairs you know that example so my dad usually says that and i've been able to imbibe that in myself and in my husband as well that i will say that out of youtube income i've been able to own this land this land is just one plot but if i should use that money i'll buy a better car jeep for that matter you know but i'm not i don't want car because i have car so I can even resell it in future if I want. I can build in it and then put, rent it out, you know, a lot of other things I can do with it. Or even build house there, you understand? So anything can actually, I can actually do with that money. And I'm super grateful to God who had brought me this far. Now, the advice I want to give us here is, I've been that wife who believes that what my husband owns is my own. I don't know if you get me, like, like any property that bears his name without even adding Mr. and Mrs. Poop, even if it's just Mr. Poop, anything that we own it together. I have had that mentality. But recently, I told myself, of course, it is our own, but nobody knows tomorrow. Anything can happen, not by marriage crash, you know. Let's say, for example, debt, or let's say, for example, a temptation that will take out those properties away from us, God forbid, in all these things I'm wishing. And then I cannot be able to put my hands back on it. But if I own a property bearing my own name, even if we lose the other one, God forbid, we can pick up with the one that bears my name. People do have issues and they will lose everything they have owned, trust me. And it usually happens to men than women. So I started having this mentality of owning something with my own name, without my husband's name being involved. You understand? It is equally our own. But let it be my name, dear. That's one reason. Secondly, on some marriages that will end up tomorrow crashing, in as much as I've gotten to that stage where separation or divorce is no longer, I, I can't, I, I'm not seeing it. During the early stages of my marriage, I would say during two years, one year, during that time, we were love it of you. Like, my husband can literally die for me. I can die for him. But I still had that fear at the back of my mind. Some people will say, maybe you never born boy or born girl. But it wasn't a case of burning boy or burning girl because my husband had never disturbed me over childbearing. But I just had that fear in me that mm, marriage is not a do or die affair. I usually say that statement, marriage is not a do or die affair. But I'm that in that state currently that marriage is a do or die affair now. Nothing ever will make my marriage crash anymore. I'm not bragging. I don't know tomorrow. The only thing that will end this marriage is death. I've, I've surpassed that level where I will tell you, uh -huh, I don't know, this man will disappoint me tomorrow. No, I've lived with this man for a whole nine years. And I can tell actually that this is what he can be able to do. You understand? He can equally say, yes, this is what I can be able to do. And then the man I'm marrying is not a polygamous man. And then the man I'm marrying is not a, he has a nice personality that he has a conscience. He wouldn't want to hurt anybody. So that's just it. Uh, and the, the stage we have also gotten in life from the things we also discuss and all that. I found out that we don't even reason he, let me even say him because everything we have owned, both properties, I my, I'm holding it. So if it is a man who is looking forward to losing you tomorrow or whatever, he won't be that relaxed with you. A lot of things. But I just want to clear you this so that you won't think I'm owning a property because soon as I be think, wait and understand. Because you come and say, ah, she's owning a property because she doesn't trust 
the husband. You can say it, but I just want to tell you as a wife, I've had this mentality of our own, our own. It can also be nice if you have my own and then husband's own will now be our own. Even if it is not based on marriage, separation or divorce, let it be based on temptation that will arise, God forbid. You understand? So that's just basically the most reason why I decided to do this. I can look back and say, yes, during the time I was doing YouTube, because I won't stay here forever. During the time I was using, doing YouTube, I was able to acquire this. So in whatever you're doing currently right now, make sure that you achieve something from it. It might not be buying land. It might not be buying car. It might not be building to the level you are. But always look back and say, ah, I bought this chair when I was selling hairs online. Or I was able to buy this freezer when I had you. I saved up the money that I had when I had you to buy this freezer. Do you understand my mentality? Exactly. So that's that. And I'm super grateful. Hopefully, you pick one or two from this video. I'll be ending it here. Tomorrow, we are going together. I'm not going to go without you. I'll be going alone and I'll be using public transport because I'll go and come back as well tomorrow. So I'm going to carry you guys along for now. I'm signing out. Thank you so much. I'm loving my hair. Let me show you guys the back of the hair. I love it. I love it. So cute. There is no regrets at all. Thank you so much, Vivian Godwin, for the inspiration. <laughs> Shout out to you, baby. So guys, talk to you pretty much very soon. For now, see you tomorrow. Bye. The next day.
So close to the gate. Just the exciting part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, this one the map. <laughs> Okay, so that's a bad bad idea. But bro, be on your anchor. I just go can share by way call water the thing of food. So the buy so bad bucket. We came through this plus. Okay. You understand? This be on your anchor bucket. Oh, the end of this plot. Okay. Yeah, this one now. Okay. This edge here, here. Okay. Then this other yeah, edge. Yeah, now, uh, this is now the natural water. Okay, is it because the water? Cables are. The, where is the road? No, sir. Okay, sir. Eba, we need the main road. I see. Okay, enga na gate. Uh huh. Eba tazeba. Okay, Yes. So, car. A broad side. A broad side. Car, another estate. Yes. Okay, so I'm back on the gate. Yes. This, this shape, this shape now. So after this, after first, this first covert, lock. you see this covert here. Mm. You see this covert, I got forever. Then, I was. Yes, all this, yes. Okay. All this, all this. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this place now, but yeah, this big one now, with okay. this particular one. Okay. Then, this curve is this one. Oh. If you are, and with and Wozuza, Wozuza, enough for big one, enough for big one. This place now, Wozuza, are you seeing it? Okay. <laughs> then what is it this plot? Okay. And I can get you the So now the big Okay. Okay. Close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe those are your own big corner. Okay. okay. Mm. Yeah. So this is the first one. This is now the corner plot. Then your own your house. It was oh. the second plot from the road. And those are Gareba Okay, those are Gareba. Yes, this is a close. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So, about number 100. Okay, and Kim. From Ebo, Chazoka. Uh, yes. Okay, I've got the name. Okay, from here. Okay, here to here. Yes. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. All the more longer this way than this way. Okay. Okay, okay. On camera, put it there. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, from this to this, then goes down. Oh, okay. Over if I get my TV again, Jim. When I want to go, may you both. I see all the developments. I'm super excited. This red fence you're seeing there is civil defense. Let me zoom in. So this is civil defense. Okay. Uh -huh. After this one, then one another plot. Okay. 
see. Going was in cost. Like, it seems like individual building. And we are estates. Okay, estates. Uh, so the developers are now as I see. Okay. What's your market? Market. Okay. Our ultramodern market for Ababa. It was relocated to this location. And oh, the shops are taken cool. already and people are already selling. Hey. So here, this side oh. is an estate already inside Himalayas estate. This place is very beautiful. It has already been developed. It I goes for nothing less than 11 million yes. already. Yes. And then down. Uh -huh, Mama, sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Come and tell us about that, um, the new one you guys launched. Okay, the new project. Yes. Okay, well, it's called the farmland, right? So imagine buying a fallow land inside one village like that. Probably you're trying to put your money somewhere. Mm. Then you decide to buy a land for 1 million, 2 million, and hoping that in 10 to 15 years, development will come there. So in this case, instead of buying it and leaving it fallow, you buy it from us and we will lease it from you. And when we lease this particular plot, instead of leaving it fallow, we'll plant palm trees on your plot. So these palm trees are going to bear fruits, right? And when they do, we sell the proceeds, that's your oil, and then we'll give you your money. So imagine buying a plot for less than 3 million naira, and then you'll be earning 300 to 350,000 every single year. So what you're going to do is when you buy this plot, you give us three to four years for the gestation period for the palm fruits to grow. But the good thing about it is that we are not using the normal palm fruits, you know, we do know the one with the tall, tall palm fruits. We are using the Tenera palm trees, Malaysian breed. They are very dwarf in nature and, you know, they, they bear fruits very well and they have more of oil than kernel. So once we do that and we extract the kernel, we extract the oil from the kernel, we're getting 300 to 250 liters of oil every year and then we sell it for you and in turn we'll give you cash. The only thing you need to do is to pay the management, managing your farm for you 15% from your proceeds. So you don't have to come in there to look at anything. You don't have to stress. You just sit. Sit down in your house and let your plot make money for you. Instead of waiting for 10 years and 15 years, within that 10 years, you'll be earning money annually. So imagine if you're earning 350k, within four to five years, you've earned the money that you used in buying the plot. So it's a win-win situation. Yes. So this plot, the size is 500 square meter and you'll be getting eight palm trees in them. Mind you, the palm trees are yours. The proceeds from the palm trees are yours. The land still belongs to you. You are just leasing it. Do you know the best part? The plot is going for just 2 million naira. Imagine paying 2 million naira for a plot and then it's earning you 350 to 380k annually. Just sit down in your house and make money. So remember, the plot is still yours. The eight palm trees on those plots are yours. The proceeds from the palm trees are yours. You will just sit at home and be making money. So this 2 million contains your plots, your palm trees, and your documentation fee. Okay, no more extra documentation. No more extra documentation. Just like this my particular land, I bought it and I also paid, paid for documentation. documentation. Yeah, but in this case, this two million contains your plots, your proceeds, your documentation, and your survey plan. You are getting everything all in one for oh, just two no. million naira. Oh, no. So you know, if you need this, call can on us. Can we get a discount? Yeah, if you are buying more than two plots, I can make you a good offer. Trust me. Okay. I know you guys are my auntie's baby, so you know I have your good interest at heart. <laughs> Thank you, my sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> nah. Hey. Latest landowner. Purr. Now we date. Purr. Very demure. Do Very mindful. Is it easy? Not too easy. Two years of monetization on YouTube. I did this. Mm. If you better wake up. Wake up, babies. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I'm so proud. <laughs> Thank you.